you instantly know, I think, a lot of the time whether something is for you or not, just based on how you feel when you wear something. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you've all been keeping well. Today I wanted to share what's new in my wardrobe over the last couple of months and show you how I mix old pieces with new pieces to create new outfits. All of the pieces that I'll be sharing with you today will be linked in the description box down below along with my measurements as a point of reference in case you're interested. So starting off with the first item which is something that's perfect for winter time and if you had asked me about a year or a year and a half ago if I could have ever seen myself purchasing an item like this I would have replied absolutely not but this is just a testament to I guess how our style is so fluid and how it can really change within a short period of time. So the first item which I have here to show you is a very classic black wool blend coat. So this is one which I picked up from Reese. This is the Marcy coat and they released this particular design last year. I had my eye on it then but I didn't pick it up. I've been keeping my eye on it for months because it did sell out quite quickly in the petites range in my size but thankfully a size became available recently. So this is a really classic classic coat. This has got a stand-up collar which was one of the main things that really drew my attention because I find that when you have a stand-up collar you really don't have the need for a scarf because your neck is already protected from the elements. This one also has pockets at the front and it has um, a button detail sort of inside there. So there's no uh, waist tie on this coat, it is very streamlined. And one of the great things as well for me I found is that because this is part of their petites range, when I tried this on, I was really pleasantly surprised because I don't have to get the sleeves taken off in this, I don't have to get the hemline taken off, it is already tailored specifically for petite proportions and if you're a fellow petite you will know the struggle we face when we have to get pants or skirts or, or blazers altered to suit our short frames. So this was a really, really great bonus for me with this particular coat. It does come in the regular sizing as well. But I think having just a classic black coat, that's something that really has been missing from my wardrobe. I have been downsizing a lot and I do have another coat from Reese which I love that's in a very light colour. So I thought having a classic black coat would work um, just for a bit of variety when it comes to outerwear and also this is something that I could also wear during the cooler seasons on a night out. It just can help to dress up an outfit um, and I think that it really does suit my personal style and Reese make amazing coats so really happy with this one. So the second item is another winter appropriate piece and it is an item of knitwear. I ended up purchasing this cable knit sweater from Ralph Lauren and if you're subscribed to my channel this might look a little bit familiar because I actually did purchase the exact same style but in a different colorway I think um, a couple of months ago and I loved the design and the feel of the fabric so much that I decided to purchase this in the navy when I saw this was available. Navy is one of the core colors when it comes to my wardrobe. I really feel just my best when I wearing a navy or any shade of blue so I knew that this would be something that I could get a lot of use out of. It's incredibly simple in terms of the design. I've got a really lovely bateau or boat neckline and it's just got that lovely sort of cable knit detail all over the front and back. We've got ribbing on the cuffs and on the hemline there. So this is just a really gorgeous piece um, and I think that I actually did size up in this, so I got the extra small. This does go down to an extra, extra small, but when I tried that on in the change room a couple of months ago in the other color, I felt it was too tight um, around my shoulders and bust. So really happy that I was able to pick this one up. A great layering piece as well, so you could actually pop this on over a shirt and you can also just wear it on its own during the um, transitional seasons. So really love this one and if you are sort of going for that waspy, preppy, ivy league look, you can't really go wrong with a cable knit sweater from Ralph Lauren, they're amazing quality. 
So the next item that's new in my wardrobe is actually an accessory and similar to the Ralph Lauren knit, this is a multiple. So I already have this particular item but in a different colorway. It is from Isabelle Moran. So if you are subscribed to my channel, you might already have a fair idea on what this item is. So I ended up picking up the Lacy belt, I think it's called, and this is a 100% cowhide leather belt. It's amazing because you can actually tie it into a knot. Um, so I'll be able to better show you guys in the cutaways, but there's essentially no buckle on there. There's no designer logo. So if you are someone that doesn't really like to wear a lot of designer labels, or if you are worried about the belt buckle sort of matching you with your jewelry or the hardware on your handbag, then I think that this particular belt is a really great option. It's a fantastic piece because it does make a little bit of a statement, but with Without being very overbearing. I love this one so much. I did actually get it in the caramel or tan color, which I will show you as well. So this is the tan or caramel colored one, which is just absolutely stunning. I love it so much. And I knew that I needed to include a black belt into my wardrobe. I think that this is such a great belt, especially as a styling piece, because not only does it look great when you wear it with a pair of trousers or even over a skirt to define the waist, but it also looks amazing if you put it over a blazer just to cinch that waist in and create a little bit more of a define find silhouette so really happy that I've also got the black one in my wardrobe and I think it's just a, a classic color you can't go wrong with a beautiful black belt the next item is another winter appropriate one and it's a little bit lighter in terms of the color so this is a piece which I picked up I think at the after Christmas sales so it is an absolutely stunning pink black and white tweed blazer this one was a hundred dollars off I think when I got it and I actually wasn't looking for a blazer to be honest because I do have quite a few but when I saw this in store I immediately was drawn to it like a magnet um, I just think that the the mix of colors that we have on it is just so beautiful so feminine and this was the last one available it was in my size as well so I sort of felt like it was meant to be this one has slight shoulder pads um, and then we've got a really beautiful sort of pink lining there I think in terms of the fabric composition this is not the best quality so this is mainly polyester it does have some cotton in the fabrication but it is not as high quality as the other blazers that i have in my wardrobe however having said that this was um, an item which i knew i'd get a lot of wear out of simply because i thought it would work back with a lot of things in my wardrobe i really do love blazers and um yeah it was just such a beautiful piece that i couldn't say no to and when i put it on i felt like myself i felt amazing Amazing, and I think that's one of the great things about clothes and also getting to discover your own sense of personal style is the actual feeling that you get when you put an item on you instantly know I think a lot of the time whether something is for you or not just based on how you feel when you wear something and this is one of those must-have pieces so really happy that I've added this to my blazer collection so the next item is something which has been on my wish list for quite a few months. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this in multiple YouTube videos. It is a black cashmere knit. And this one is again from Reese. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. This is a roll neck knit. There's not really a lot of detail to it. There is, I guess, like a slight little detail on the side there. And then we do have a seam on the back. But other than that, this is just so, so comfortable to wear, soft to the touch. It is, I would say, in quite a relaxed fit. So it is not a very slim fit design, um, but I think that makes it perfect for the winter months, especially because you could put a thermal underneath this if you wanted to. And conversely, um, just wearing it with nothing underneath because cashmere feels so lovely against the skin is always an option. 
Um, in terms of styling, I think that this is something I would probably wear with a pair of trousers, but again, I could also wear this with a pleated midi skirt if I wanted to, or with a slip skirt. Having a beautiful cashmere knit is a really key core component when it comes to my winter wardrobe and I'm really happy that I've added one in black because black has been a colour which I have actually been adding a little bit more to in my wardrobe over the last sort of probably year. You guys may have noticed. This also comes in different colourways as well and yeah, I just think it's just such a, a key wardrobe staple for the winter time. So the next item which I'm going to be sharing with you is something that is a little bit more dressier. It's also in black. I ended up getting a little black dress and I actually purchased this off the pre-loved market. It is a dress that is another multiple for me. So I already have this design but in a more of a statement um, colorway. So the little black dress, this is the dental lace picnic dress. This is from an Australian brand called Wheels and Doll Baby and they were a go-to brand for me when it came to, um, I guess you could say like advanced style dresses. This one's so gorgeous. So we've got a boat or bateau neckline. It's got a little velvet bow on one side there. We've got a lace and it's quite sheer on the sleeves as well. So they're three quarter length sleeves and then it sort of flares out a little bit on the bottom. We've got a sort of scalloped laced hemline and then there's layers of tulle underneath as well, which help to give it that really sort of puffy, flouncy effect. So this is something that I think for me, because I do already have this dress in the dark floral, I knew that I loved the design. I knew that I loved the fit but I was after something which was in an all black color. When this came out originally many years ago, I don't think I had the opportunity to purchase it in all black and that's why I ended up going with the black with the florals. Um, and yeah, I've just been sort of keeping my eye on the pre-loved market. And when I saw this one became available, I decided to snap it up. It's in really good condition. There's no faults with it. Um, and this is something that I can definitely see myself wearing for the next 10, 20 years if I have um, an event or if I just need to sort of dress up a little bit. You can't go wrong with a classic little black dress. They're one of those items that I think can work for most people. It's just about finding one in a particular design or style which is going to work for you. Moving on to a couple of other items which I've recently picked up. These are more for the warmer weather, so perfect for right now here in Australia. So I ended up picking up a couple of tank tops from an Australian brand called Witchery. So I got one in an aqua colour here and then I also decided to get the light grey as well because I thought both of these colours would work in really well for my summertime wardrobe. This is made of 98% cotton, I think, and 2% elastane. So one of the things I really love about this particular tank top is that unlike the, I think they're called the racerbacks, this actually doesn't come in too far on the back. So I do like to sort of have that little bit of coverage there. So the bra straps don't actually show at the back, which is really nice. So yeah, just two very simple tank tops. These were really affordable as well. And Witchery is, I think one of the Australian, I think they're an Australian brand, but they're one of the retailers that have those really core basics. And I definitely think that I need to keep an eye on what they have. I don't have too much in my wardrobe from them but they seem to have some really beautiful designs and core basic pieces so absolutely love these and in terms of styling I know that I'm going to be able to work these back with a pair of shorts a pair of jeans even trousers and also skirts as well so I have already worn these a bunch over the last few weeks now we're in summertime the next item which I have to show you is another multiple. So I already have this in a different colorway. You're probably seeing a theme here that I do like to um, purchase the same style or design, but in different colors if I find it really suits me. So I ended up picking up another pair of linen trousers, this time in the blue. This is a paper bag design. This is from Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Um, I just love the design of this. It's got nothing to do with the name sort of similarity. 
I love paper bag design trousers. If you're subscribed to my channel, you probably already guessed that. But I do have this also in the white colorway as well, which I do love. So a pair of linen trousers, perfect for the summertime. This one has lovely functional pockets. It's got faux pockets on the back. You can remove the waist belt as well. So if I wanted to use one of the Isabelle Laurent belts, I could actually do that. And I like to wear mine with the um, sort of hemline in cuffs as well, just for a more relaxed style. So in terms of styling for me, this is just a, a winner piece when it comes to summertime. I think that, you know, pairing it with one of the tank tops would work really well. T-shirts as well, um, a camisole. There's so much that you could actually pair these with. They're really, really lightweight as well. So I'm definitely going to be taking both of these pairs of pants with me when I go on holidays to Europe in summer, in June. Um, so yeah, absolutely love this design. And I think that this is just one of the great things about when you can find an item that you love, that works for you and it works for your personal style, the fabric is amazing, the fit is great, then it might be a great idea to actually see what different color combinations they have because you might be able to pick up an item in multiple colors and know that you're going to get a lot of use out of it and be able to create a lot of different outfits in your wardrobe. I'd love to hear which of these items you like the best and also which outfit combination did you like the best. So please do share your thoughts with me in the comments below. I think that it's interesting when it comes to multiples, they really do help you to hone in on what are the key colors or what are the key designs that you're really attracted to. So if you are trying to get more of a sense of your personal style, then a great way I think is to take a look at your wardrobe and see are there any particular items where you've actually purchased it in multiple colorways? I know that for me, paper bag pants are definitely one of the key items I love. Again, cashmere knits and also cable knit sweaters. They're another style weakness of mine. Um, but yeah, it can really help you to, I guess, identify a little bit more about your own personal style and which fabrics or colors you love the best. So just some food for thought there, but I really hope that you have enjoyed today's video and found it useful and inspiring. If you did enjoy today's video and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then I'd love it if you would click the subscribe button and show your support. It really does mean a lot to me. And thank you to everyone who has returned. I really appreciate your support and feedback as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've been keeping well and having an amazing weekend and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye.